You may have noticed the lack of blue Santa Clarita buses traveling around the city. You may have also noticed the growing protest on the corner of Constellation and Alta Vista Avenue. These people with picket signs are holding a strike in support of bus drivers. The biggest thing is fairness for all the drivers. I've been living here 18 years from Chicago. And when I got here, a couple of drivers helped me become where I am today. What we're really trying to achieve is making sure that every one of their families get treated fair. The drivers feel as if they aren't being treated correctly and are taking action into their own hands. So that's what we want to achieve, that this company understands that we are value. And we shouldn't be treated secondhand based on what you achieve with the city and all that. We have nothing to do. We don't negotiate that contract. These drivers are now a few weeks into the strike and more and more issues are starting to arise. Well, the long-term effects, <laughs> it's hurting a lot of families, you, her. See, look, my wife rides a commuter bus down here. My daughter rides a transit. My son takes 757. My mother-in-law rides a dollar ride. What is affecting? Even my family, even though I'm a driver. So it affects the community as well as us. The driver's mission is very vital to their survival as prices for essentials continue to skyrocket. Every day, not only me, is a struggle for all of us. Every one of us is trying to live based on our little savings we have and other things that come about. And, you know, we thank God for all of that. But it's a struggle, no different than if you couldn't make it to school like you're doing now and you're going through that struggle. Or let's just say, you know, you come from a family that never had, and then now you really don't have, that's those struggles where those people who once have don't have. And so it's hard for all of us. As the strike enters its fifth week, we hope to see more change. Reporting for Canyons News, I'm Xander Grable.